Okay. Okay. Our today's plan, inshallah, plan, today's plan. What should we do today, Sarah? Uh, today, 13th unit. Exactly, yes. We should start unit 13. Okay, we should start unit 13. And this is, uh, uh, after this unit, we still have one unit only in this course. Okay, so you are about to finish uh, the course, alhamdulillah. And uh, please, Sarah, start revising for end of course exam. Inshallah, in maximum, maximum, in two weeks from now. Okay, so sure. inshallah, we can manage the remaining uh, two units, this unit and the, the last one. Let me say in maybe five or maximum, maximum, inshallah, uh, uh, six classes, including today's lesson. So uh, you are about to finish your revising in a week, then start revising online using the online links that I'll share with you. Okay? So uh, let me ask you, Sarah, what did you learn in our last lesson? Do you remember what did you study? Yes. Yes, uh, unit 12. Yes, what did you study uh, in unit 12? Yes, uh, unit... Grammar, uh, should and shouldn't. Yes, how to use should, shouldn't, and the writing part seven, how to use the short uh, the three pictures to write a short story. So in this unit, inshallah, Sarah, Sorry. unit, yes, Sorry. unit 13, uh, the title of this unit, as you see, is called here, yes. what's your hobby? What's your hobby? Yes, what's your hobby, Sarah? Let me ask you before we start. What you like doing in your free time? Do you know what does mean hobby? Uh, something you enjoy yes. doing. Yes, something you enjoy doing. Something you love doing anytime, anywhere. Like what? What? What is your hobby? For example, my hobby is reading. I love reading um, books, especially okay. my, books. Yes. my yeah. hobby is reading. Yes. Read. Okay. What types of book? What types of uh, books do you like reading? Do you like reading about history, about science? Uh, self development. Excellent, Sarah. Perfect. Good topic. So you are, you are interested in reading about professional development or self-development. Well done. Okay. So here, Sarah, as you see in the pictures, they are showing different skills, different activities. Okay. Picture A, for example, what's he doing? Picture A, what's he doing? Skateboard. Skateboarding. Skating. Skateboarding, right? Skateboarding. Skateboarding. Type. Right. What about B? Yes. B, what are they doing? Uh, play a uh, game. Yes, computer games. Computer games. Hey, what about C? I think uh, sailing. Sailing, Sarah, right? When you ride about in a, in, in the sea, you are sailing and you live hard. 
time. What about D? Right. Yes. What about D? Answering puzzles. Answering puzzles. Okay. Uh, and I think maybe. Yes. And the last one. Making here, as you see, the girl is making jewelry. Yes. Okay, making jewelry. Or you can say making things or uh, creating new things using all the stuff. So I think here the pictures are clear, Sarah, right? So doing the puzzles, which picture? D, uh, playing computer games. Uh, Yes. D, making the jewelry. E, snowboarding or skateboarding. A, sailing. C. Okay. So, have you got Sarah in experience? Have you got Sarah in experience uh, in yes. these activities? Have you ever, for example, have you ever done puzzles? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Which one? Which one you have experience, Sarah? We have different types of activities. Which one you already tried or have experience? Um, I experiment. Uh... Uh, doing puzzles. Okay. Yeah. What about sailing? Have you ever? Have you no. ever sailed? No. Okay. So now, Sarah, here, listen to a teacher asking Natcha about her hobbies. Natcha, one one of her, his or her students. The teacher will ask about, ask her about her hobbies. Okay, please, Sarah, listen carefully and answer these questions. What okay. were her hobbies when she was younger? What are her hobbies now? What hobby would she like to try? Read it, Sarah? Yes. Okay. Let me stop sharing this and share again. Track 76, right, Sarah? Uh, yes. 76. Unit 13. Starting off. Exercise 3. So, Natasha, tell me about your hobbies. Do you like computer games, for example? I played a lot of computer games until I was about 10, but I haven't played any for a long time. What do you do now? I prefer doing things outside. Activities like climbing and snowboarding. Is there anything you haven't tried but would like to? I'd love to go sailing, but Dad says it's very expensive. Okay, Sarah, listen again. Unit 13. Starting off. Exercise 3. So, Natasha, tell me about your hobbies. Do you like computer games, for example? 
I played a lot of computer games until I was about 10, but I haven't played any for a long time. What do you do now? I prefer doing things outside, activities like climbing and snowboarding. Is there anything you haven't tried but would like to? I'd love to go sailing, but Dad says it's very expensive. Okay, Sarah, would you like to listen again? No. What were her hobbies when she was young? Uh, computer games. Okay, so she used it to play computer games. And what are hobbies now? What are her hobbies now? Uh, climbing and um, snowboarding. Yes, she is interested in doing outdoor activities, especially climbing, snowboarding. And which hobby she would she like to try? Uh, sailing. And why? Why she can't try it so far? Because uh, very expensive. Okay, because her dad told her that it's really expensive. What about you, Sarah? What are your hobbies and which hobby you would like to try and why? Let me ask you about your hobbies when you were young. What were your hobbies when you were young? When you were you at school, for example, or primary school? Uh, computer games. So you were interested in playing computer games. And what are your hobbies now? Uh, my hobby now is reading. Now you are more interested in uh, reading. Okay, what about a hobby that you would like to practice one day in the future? Um, I want uh, I want to try skydiving. Okay, scuba diving, perfect. Okay, so why haven't you tried it so far or yet? Is it dangerous, Sarah, uh, or safe? Because, uh, no, dangerous, not safe. Okay, so that's why you are worried and you are uh, hesitated to try it or not. Okay, perfect. So now, Sarah, let's try, let's stop uh, uh, the warming up and start listening part three, okay? So in this part, as you know, we need, but before we start, Sarah, we need to understand how to answer re listening part three. And here we have some exam advice, Sarah. Could you please read it? This exam uh, advice. Okay. Don't choose. Mm -hmm. Don't choose. An answer just because it has a, a word you, he, you hear in the record, recording. Yes, this is really important advice. Okay, so don't choose the answer based on your uh, the word you listen. No, you should understand the question. And then the answer will sometimes paraphrase something you hear. This is good word, Yisara. What does it mean paraphrase? Uh, I don't know. Paraphrase, yani say the word, but in different way. For example, when you say, I love fat, I love pizza. I love pizza. Okay. I'll tell you, I mean, yes. yani, my favorite food is pizza. Okay. Tab, can you say the same sentence? When I say my favorite food is pizza. When you have a listening question, does the speaker enjoy eating pizza? Yes or no? The speaker, uh, yes. 
Yes, because the speaker says my favorite food is pizza. So in this way, the speaker enjoys eating pizza. So my favorite pizza has the same meaning. I love eating pizza. I love eating pizza. I enjoy eating pizza. My favorite food is pizza. So this one we mean paraphrase. Yani use the same meaning in different ways. Does this make sense? To paraphrase Sarah, yani give yes. me the same meaning in your own words or different words. Number one is done for you. Here, let's practice paraphrasing Sarah. Yeah, and try to think of other ways of saying these things. I'll text you. What does it mean, I'll text you, Sarah? Means I'll send you a message. So I'll send you a message has the same meaning when I say I'll text you. If I text you means send you a message. Does it make sense? Yes. So I'll send you a message is a paraphrase of text you. Right. Let's do the, the, the common phrases in the same way, Sarah. There were too many people in, on the bus. There were too many people on the bus. How to give me the same meaning, Sarah? Uh, there were too many, Khalibalik, too many people. Too many people on the bus. Uh, the bus is, uh, is small. Okay, you can say the bus it was small, or you can say the bus was crowded or overcrowded. The bus zahma. I'm only the bus was overcrowded or was busy. Means what? There were too many people on the bus. يعني عدد الناس أكبر من حق الباص الطبيعي أو أكبر من عدد ال ال chairs أو seats. Clear, Sarah? So to yes. paraphrase the sentence, you can say the bus was so busy أو overcrowded overcrowded كان الباص زحمة جدا. طيب. I did the puzzle in just over 10 minutes. I did the puzzle in just over 10 minutes. How to say the same word, the same phrase in a different uh, word or a different phrase? I did the puzzle in just over 10 minutes. Say it again in your words, Sarah, please. <clears throat> uh. hmm. Over 10 minutes. Rakiz al keywords, yes, Sarah. I did the puzzle in just over 10 minutes. You can say, I did the puzzle in a short time. In a short, or in short time. In short time means what? The same meaning like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, long time or short time? Okay. Or I finished, I answered the puzzle quickly. A puzzle, the answer, the, the puzzle, quickly. Yeah, I went to the cinema. Okay. I went to the cinema. Uh... I went to the cinema. 
Give me the same meaning, but in other words. I went to the cinema. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I saw the movie in the cinema. Okay, I watched a movie in a cinema. Or you can say, I was in the cinema. I was in the cinema. Means I went to the cinema. Or I have been, you can say, I have been, I have been to the cinema. Or I have been in the cinema. Clear? Yes. Type. Uh, I'll go, I'll give you riding, uh, riding lessons. I'll give you riding lessons. Can you give me the same meaning in a different way? Define the uh, I will. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll I will learn you. Teach you. I'll teach you. And because give you lessons, I'll yani teach you. I'll teach you riding. I'll teach you riding. Anna, how to ride how to ride a bike, how to ride the horse, for example. I'll teach you. My helmet wasn't big enough. My helmet wasn't big enough. Give me the same meaning in a different way. Uh my helmet was uh small. Too small. My helmet was too small. Too small means was not big enough. I am getting much better at snowboarding. I am getting much better at snowboarding. And but has some snowboarding. Uh I enjoy it. Okay. Uh, yes. I am good uh, at I'm... I am good at snowboarding. And خلاص يعني صار مستوى كويس في snowboarding معناها I am getting much better. Or I am I am improving in snowboarding. Okay. Or I can snowboard very well now. Okay, Sarah. So. In listening, yes. why, Sarah, you, you should understand the paraphrase? Because this helps you to understand the listening questions. You better manage if you listening questions, yes, Sarah. Matt, it was Kai had two enough silk element in the visual. La, at this my synonymous, oh, the more the fat will carry Matt to them. I think enough sil mana, but in a different way. Is it clear? Yes. Right. Here, Sarah, here, paraphrase. Read this definition, please. To say something that has been said or written in a different way. This is what I mean by paraphrase. To say something that has been said or written in a different way. Leave, Sarah. Yes. Okay. Now, Sarah, we did it together. Okay. Now, let's listen. And please match the phrase you hear to the right statement from one to seven. Of course, number one is done for you. So focus on two from two to seven. Ready? Yes. Okay. 
Unit 13. Listening. Part 3. Exercise 2. A. I'll teach you to ride. B. Which one? My snowboarding is improving. Which one? She mentioned two, yes, Aro. I'll teach you riding. Which one? I'll give you riding lessons. Sarah, can you, can you yes. hear me? Right, listen again. Let's listen again. C. Unit 13. Listening. Part 3. Exercise 2. A. I'll teach you to ride. I'll teach you to ride. Which one is Sarah? I'll teach you to ride. Which statement had the same meaning? Sarah, can you hear me? Yes, yes. So, I'll teach you to ride. Which statement? Sarah, do you understand what is required here? I mean, I'll choose from the question that I asked before. Good. The girl here says, I'll teach you to ride. أتي الفريز اللي فيها نفس المعنى اللي هي معناها I'll give you writing lessons بالضبط فايف يبقى I'll give you writing lessons معناها I'll teach you to write يبقى أنت كده تتيري نفس المعنى بس بكلمات تانية يبقى احنا عملنا كده paraphrasing clear is it clear now Yes. Okay, the next one. B. My snowboarding is improving. My snowboarding is, impro is improving. Uh, seven. Exactly, seven. Next. C. The bus was full. D. Bus two. was full. Means exactly there are two. there were too many people. Perfect. Two. I'll send you a message. I'll send you a message. This is done for you, right? Means yes. I'll text Number you. One. Yes. <laughs> e. My helmet was too small. My helmet was too small. Uh, six. My helmet wasn't big enough. Yes. Next. F. I saw a film. I saw a film. Uh, four. I went to the cinema. Yeah, please read it to, to be more familiar with the phrase. Okay. Next. G. The puzzle took me about 15 minutes to complete. So the uh, puzzle. Number three. I did the puzzles in just over 10 minutes. Exactly. So I did the puzzle in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, yani over 10 minutes. The same. Clear, Sarah, what you mean by paraphrasing now? Yes. Uh, this is really important and useful in listening, to understand the listening. Now, what should we do, Sarah? Look at questions one to five and underline the keywords. Okay, underline the keywords okay. before you listen. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, you have half a minute. Read the questions until I play the audio. Unit 13, listening, part three, exercise.
Ready, Sara? Uh, yes. Okay. So, what is the key word in question one? When did Rich start uh, writing? Yes, start writing. Start writing and when? Okay. Right. Rich thought his first lesson was. What is the key word? Uh, first uh, lesson was. First lesson and the thought. Yani here we look for his opinion. Ra'yu'i fi first lesson. Type. What did Jess have to borrow at his first riding lesson? The key word borrow, first riding lesson. Jess said her teacher was. But here we need to know her opinion. What does Richie plan to do in the future? His plan in the future. Now listen and answer, Sarah. You will listen twice. And please listen carefully and answer the questions. Okay. Is four. For each question, choose the correct answer. You will hear Rich talking to his friend Jess about horse riding. Hi, Rich. I hear you're having horse riding lessons. Yes, we'll be able to go riding together. Great. When did you start? I saw an advert about a month ago. So Mum phoned the place and we visited last week. But I only had my first lesson this morning. How was it? All we did was brush the horses. It wasn't <laughs> difficult, but I wanted to ride. I hope the next lesson will be more interesting. I remember my first lesson. I got a riding hat as a birthday present, plus boots and trousers, so I had lots of things. But my friend's mum had to lend me her jacket because it was so cold that day. What was your teacher like? She won a lot of prizes for horse riding, but I don't think she really knew how to teach us and she wasn't always fun. But I kept going and now I love riding. That's my plan. My friend wants me to start tennis lessons, but I like this better and I want to ride with you one day, so... Now listen again. Unit 13. Listening, part 3. Exercise 4. For each question, choose the correct answer. You will hear Rich talking to his friend Jess about horse riding. Hi, Rich. I hear you're having horse riding lessons. Yes, we'll be able to go riding together. Great. When did you start? I saw an advert about a month ago, so Mum phoned the place and we visited last week. But I only had my first lesson this morning. How was it? All we did was brush the horses. It wasn't difficult, but I wanted to ride. I hope the next lesson will be more interesting. I remember my first lesson. I got a riding hat as a birthday present, plus boots and trousers, so I had lots of things. But my friend's mum had to lend me her jacket because it was so cold that day. What was your teacher like? She won a lot of prizes for horse riding, but I don't think she really knew how to teach us and she wasn't always fun. But I kept going and now I love riding. That's my plan. My friend wants me to start tennis lessons, but I like this better and I want to ride with you one day, so... Yes, Sarah, done. Uh, can I listen again? Yes, sure. Listen again. Unit 13. Listening, part three. Exercise four. For each question, choose the correct answer. You will hear Rich talking to his friend Jess about horse riding. Hi, Rich. I hear you're having horse riding lessons. Yes, we'll be able to go riding together. Great! When did you start? I saw an advert about a month ago, so Mum phoned the place and we visited last week. But I only had my first lesson this morning. How was it? All we did was brush the horses. It wasn't difficult, but I wanted to ride. I hope the next lesson will be more interesting. 
I remember my first lesson. I got a riding hat as a birthday present, plus boots and trousers, so I had lots of things. But my friend's mum had to lend me her jacket because it was so cold that day. What was your teacher like? She won a lot of prizes for horse riding, but I don't think she really knew how to teach us, and she wasn't always fun. But I kept going, and now I love riding. That's my plan. My friend wants me to start tennis lessons, but I like this better, and I want to ride with you one day, so... Again, Sarah, or clear? Uh, okay. No. Okay. Question one. When did uh, Rach start writing? Uh, two weeks ago. No. Two Indeed. weeks ago, they visited. Yes. The first lesson was today. So earlier today. So he started today. This is the first lesson. First lesson means started. Okay? And the okay. paraphrase that we said earlier, sorry. In the audio, the child didn't say, I started when? But he said, my first lesson. My first lesson means start writing. Clear? Okay, Sarah. Sorry, are you with me? Yes, 